in the description to this mod. You can find the retribution one. Their involvement is hardly good news. They claim to be stirring up the orcs to combat a common threat. What could that be? I would not put much oh yeah, these are these are gonna wipe everything. I think those are the ones. By nature. That they are Tarkus, but the Eldar aren't fools. The warlock fragmentation rounds may have been guiding the orcs here on Calderas, but he was only one part of a larger plan. We are receiving reports that the Eldar are stirring up the orcs on the nearby Typhon system. The Armageddon will take you to Typhon, so you can engage the enemy there. I will relay all distress signals we receive from Typhon back to you. I guess you can give the stimulus back to everyone in the squad. Commander, this is the Armageddon's navigation display. From here, you can review data on the planets of the Aurelian subsector. You can also order the Armageddon to initiate warp travel to one of these worlds. When you are ready, initiate travel to the Typhon system. Okay, for the defense mission, of course, we're gonna go with dull rain. Oh, never mind. Now, what I'm gonna do? Keep Tarkus there, but give everyone else. Well, actually, I think we can give them a ranged weapon, probably. And, and nope. Never mind. Unless. Yes. Yeah, let's give them, um, uh, none of these are gonna help them that much. I guess let's pick up the Imperial Guard to have them with us. So I won't be using that. They are affecting, well this is effective. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that might be good. A launch. We're yeah, we're taking him. But we're not gonna be up against any. Well, they might actually spawn in tanks since we're level seven. My six damage. Six. Fourteen. Frequently scatter them. Well, let's give him this and see how he did. Actually, since we didn't pick up any armors, though. Yep. yep. Why the hell not? Let's give him full range damage, why the hell not? Look at that, almost 1k. Grenades. Need them. Here I see. I, can, I guess we can give the commander a ranged weapon. Yep. Which one though? This is no oh oh oh. Well, that's gonna be nice. Give him a heavy bolter though. Nope. And give him the other stuff. He has a heavy bolter. Difference. back and uh, give him that. Armor is still good. 
everyone set up. Yep. Let's actually put them in the building, hopefully it doesn't get instantly destroyed, like most of the other stuff. And, oh yeah, the commander has a sword. Fancy sword. This tarantula turrets are gonna get demolished instantly, probably. Yeah, yeah, they have no fucking health. Grav gun does. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, the lag. Oh, fucks. What the fuck was that? I'm gonna assume that's the last gun. That's that, but this is firing. Let's see. Oh, that's just the plasma. It'd be best if I don't look that way, right? We don't get lagged. This shit. Let's him get them out of there and just make sure that all of them are firing. The commander is actually taking damage. Look at all that loot. Let's pull him back so the enemies get in range. I mean, stay at the end of the range, because, you know, suppression. Imagine if the suppression, this was like in the Company of Heroes. They just lay down and not move. Four orcs. I'm gonna assume they're coming from down there. Oh, never mind. They're coming from down there. Next. Devastator Marines ready for combat. Thanks for the follow. Well, hero. Oh, never mind. They're coming from the top. I should have given the commander a fucking ranged weapon. What? I don't think they're supposed to retreat. Look at him. I think it's a different animation than when he has the hammer, from what I can remember. Maybe not? No, no, it's the same. We need to get Thaddeus to level up. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Imperial Guard. Um, yeah, I guess drop him there. Run away, Commander, run away.
the fuck is that? Okay, I saw something drop there. We have to go get it. Oh, these are fancy guardsmen. Okay, you go over there and you go over there. Guess never, never mind. I guess pick that up. Okay, you guys are five. Let's see. Yeah, the stormtroopers are actually good. Let's place them in the buildings. I like how the sound is breaking. I don't know if you can hear it. But it is. Okay, let's lead these guys to their death. I don't need them. Just leave them there, I guess. We're getting so much loot. We're gonna be able to like level up once we get everyone. To level up before, you know, it could be level 20. So you can face all the difficult bullshit at the beginning. And they're actually starting to die. And again, they are fodder, right? Mm -hmm. Guardsmen, you know? Oh god, the uh, 11 FPS. You should ask the modders if there's like any way to improve the FPS, or is it just, you know, an engine, engine limitation? Because as you can see, like 33% of my CPU is being used and 26, 25% of the GPU. But this is how to destroy a PC if you have an older one. I have a playthrough up. I did with a playthrough of this. I did with Swifty on a low, older version of the mod. You could basically see. Well, then again, we were playing co-op. You can basically see me like giving all orders and just doesn't respond for like two or three minutes. How much? bullshit there is on the map so just place my stuff like in the middle so it does something because I can't command it then again that might may, might be just because we were playing online who knows oh the final assault yeah I guess I can retreat these guys get them yeah I didn't make the mod you have a link for it in the description on ModDB, and you have a link to the Discord of the modder. It has some other mods for uh, Battlefield Gothic Armada 2 and 1. And it has a mod for Retribution 2. Which is multiplayer only though. Through there. So you've probably seen uh, Vengeance for the Blood Dragons too then. And the said it's only multiplayer though. I much, you know, imagine this shit on or Retribution with like every race modded to hell. With fancy stuff like this. <laughs> that would be fucking fun. Two v four. I mean, like a last stand or something, or capture the point. You know, the, the, the normal, you know, points on the map and whatnot. But this is basically like down of war, down of war one. You just attack, move. It's over. <laughs> is it done? Yep.
Well, it's actually said how much... How less you can actually mod down of war. Okay, I know a company of heroes too has a shitload of mods with lots of stuff. See a hero? I wish it was like company of you. Lots of mods. D-Day. Like all coercion mods and maps and everything else. Since their plan was to loot it for parts. That would have been a blow. No different different victory conditions. Two millennia. That is correct, Sergeant. We no longer have the technology to make these arrays. Losing one is a blow the Imperium never fully recovers from. It still remains unclear okay, this, what the Eldar hope to gain we're gonna get, provoking the after we get rid of the armor Whatever at some point. Their purpose, the Eldar are using all their trickery to disrupt communications outside the sector. We are uncertain how they are managing this, but yeah, our like astropaths this. describe their interference as a shadow across the warp. A shadow across the warp? Those were their exact words? Yes, those were their exact words, Cyrus. We have more immediate problems, however. Mech Bad Zappa is mounting another offensive on the capital, and I this need to see some more defenses. Eh? Secure Typhon quickly. I could use you back here soon. Is that and the uh, chainsaw? Why so concerned with the ravings of astropaths, Cyrus? No reason. I just hope that casting a shadow across the warp is an ability the Eldar truly have, for all our sakes. Other melee weapons will. Ooh. The Graviton gun is actually pretty good. Let's keep that. Get rid of this. This. And the normal chainsword. Alright. Need to. G oh. Oh, yeah, that requires a bolter. Um. Let's find a boulder we can give him. Six damage. The only one. Oh, never mind, he has one, right? And yeah, that's awful. Well, these were one level off. Oh, we're not. Look at that. Crystal enemies. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, we can get those on him. Of course, we're gonna need mains. Accuracy. Help. Oh. What did I have? Accuracy. I was going for the veterans. Ooh. I wish I could fucking zoom in to his head now. What does he do? Gives a bunch of stuff. Since we're not fighting orcs, let's get rid of these. I'm not gonna micromanage this to hell, who cares? Take too long. Give him more armor. And the sort it out. Two. Can he use the graviton gun? Uh, nope, he can't. We have a last gun. Not yet. Let's keep that on him, actually. Hmm. 
let's actually make this up because, you know, these are supposed to be better. So let's equip them. Give one more level for that. Look at all those stats. God damn. We're gonna. Uh, I know in Chaos Rising we got a shitload of helmets that just boost everything. Let's keep him as is. He's level five, and everyone is level eight. Ooh. Then again, we have a shitload of these things we can actually, you know, fill off. Need that. Give him armor rating. Some better armor too. That. Let's actually give him a melee weapon. hand or oh, could be good it's the same one and uh, we'll see if we get the accuracy he doesn't let's actually give him grenades too that could be good get that bugged out for a second Again, let's get a bit of that. Right, I need to eat that to see how it works. Yes, we're gonna sit out Avatis for this one. I want to see how, how good that is. This grenade launcher the enemy again and again. Yes, yeah, so those are the same. Let's get rid of one of them. That's the same. Let's just push this up more. 